you seem to have a soft spot for the underdog. Like you, you yeah. were just saying, if I can have it my way, I will pick female entrepreneurs. Always, um, yeah. But is that also one of the reasons why you decided to start helping me out? Because I was surprised I contacted you. And before I knew it, I had a Zoom meeting of one hour. And that then that quickly turned yeah. into four, five, six. I remember my girlfriend asking me, but, but why is she helping you? And you're not paying her. I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I'm just rolling with it. And, and I got to say, I'm very grateful for that. Um, even you coming here today, um, is that, does that have something to do with the fact that what happened to me before with my cancer? Is it no. because you see potential in me? No. Like, I, I, I honestly wonder about that. Or is it just you feeling like you owe that to society in general? No, uh, neither of these two. Um, I do, uh, most of what I do, I do from my gut. And um, this is also how I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a conversation uh, uh, a couple of days ago. How do you think you will die? And, and then I said, uh, probably in an accident, because I am fearless, but also clumsy. Mm. So I'm not afraid of anything. It's a bad combo. Yeah, that's a dangerous combo. I tend to... F <laughs> you know what urban exploration, urbex is, where you... The reason that you're not allowed to go into buildings that have dark, like ruins to take pictures and the reason you're not allowed to go in is because of people like me mm -hmm. I will just stumble and then break a leg or something so I do that like every year I break something um, but when it comes to people I also do things from the gut uh, without any fear without holding back and the only thing I check is with this person if, if the situation was reversed would this person do the same for me? And if the answer is yes, I just go full ahead. And I am now what I call semi-retired um, since a month or two. Um, and I deliberately also seek out uh, mentorships uh, because I, I don't coach people because I get very annoyed when I don't follow my advice, so I let that go. Um, I just, uh, if I can teach and learn, it's the same thing. If it is someone I can learn from, I will do it. But and I've already learned a lot from you. Because I was going to ask right now, what makes you think that I would do the same for you? I'm, I'm just convinced that you would. I'm just convinced that you would. If, for example, um, if, if I would need someone, I was, I had a good thing going, you know, in February, March, I thought, you know what? We're stuck at home. I'm gonna work out. I bought myself. I had just fallen into an elevator shaft while doing illegal urbex explorations. Into a shaft? An elevator shaft, oh yeah, my God. which is like a meter and a half deep. Yeah. It's okay, uh, yeah, but babe. it's it's concrete, you know. <laughs> and if you, <laughs> <laughs> oh it was God. dark, and then so it was a friend of mine was with me, and he decided. Uh, so, yeah, he's probably watching, I don't care. But he's married, and I don't do, I'm single, but I don't do married people, you know. So he decided while, while we were out there in this ruin by our own, in the dark, and I just felt he was going to make a move. And, uh, uh, and, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take a big step. And it was a step into, <laughs> I oh stepped into the God. void. Yeah, and I tore um, a tendon. So that story of my life, right? How do we come to the urbex? Because I was, because I was asking. Yeah. So the... I, I I bought a stationary bike and mm -hmm. uh, um, and I, an old flat screen uh, and and then I, I just hook up my iPhone and then I was watching lots of YouTube movies back then because I was trying to find out how to edit movies. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so I told myself, and then you get sucked into the YouTube black hole. Of course. Um, the rabbit and, hole. And, and then there's a half, half a day goes by and the light, there's light <laughs> outside and you go, where did half of my day go yeah. to? So I decided to combine, I had to work out for my knee mm -hmm. uh, to, to have the muscle around the knee take over the, yeah. the function of this tendon. And um, so I would, you know, cycle for an hour and a half, like the equivalent of 30 kilometers while watching 
one hour and a half of YouTube movies, um, which I had put in a watch later queue, mm -hmm. and that was just fine. So from February until July, I was, you know, I could look at myself in the mirror and say, you know what, for a 50-something woman, it's not bad. But then I went to France for a month, the south of France, just me, a big old house and a big old dog. And... Uh, I didn't work. I was going to take long walks in the valley every day. Of course, I didn't. And then when I came back, I lost my mojo. And now I have these corona kilos. So if, if I would ask someone, can you make me work out every day again? I would ask you and you would do it. Yeah, for sure. See? And you wouldn't ask money for it, would you? Not, well, not in this case, no. That's exactly what but I But because you gave first. That's, That's not how it works. It's, it's not like, you know, I give you, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. No, that's not how I work. I am, my head is, it's very loud in my head. If I were a computer screen, it, it would be a browser with a lot of tabs open and music coming out of one of them. And I'm not sure which one. But I, I sense a lot of pure idealism in you. Mm. And you, you try to suppress it. It's almost like there is an internal conflict yeah, where a part of maybe. you is very idealistic and a part of you has the been, savior complex, yeah. been through life and you're like, ah, it's an ongoing battle. My, my biggest problem is managing my energy. Mm -hmm. And my energy is limited. Um, I have chronic pain. I wake up with it and go to bed with it. I was thinking about it in the car because it was annoying me. It's like having a Siamese twin. Yes. Which is dead and clinging on to your neck. For me, it's like it's my neck in my head. It's always there. And uh, um, it sucks the energy out of me fighting against pain. So I have to manage it. Uh, and, and that's one of the things I really have to learn. That and having patience. But all the other stuff, you know, and my kids, both of them, the youngest one, a girl, when she turned 18, I thought to myself, I was so relieved. You know, as a mother, it's always you who has to drive them to, you know, the youth movement or from and to school. And uh, it's you who takes them to the doctor and it's you who goes out and buy new clothes and shoes. And so, I mean, my God, uh, when they were adults, so they're now 21 and 24, and they're real adults, they're still living with me. And I thought, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. You're both healthy. We're still talking. I think we're done here. And um, we get along pretty well. Um, but when I don't feel like cooking, I, don't, I say, I don't feel like cooking. And I say, okay, let's go get some fries. Um, I just, I've never been this free in my life. I've, I bought a small house 10 years ago and uh, I got myself a bank loan that was unhealthy. Uh, it was unhealthy. I mean, the, the, the amount of money I had to cough up mm -hmm. every month mm -hmm. for one person that is just like yeah. just financial suicide. Yeah. But I wanted to get rid of this loan in as short as possible a mm -hmm. period. And this period ended in October, so... Well, congratulations. Yeah, I'm debt free. My kids are adults now. Um, and they're fine. I mean, they're just excellent as adults. Um, and I don't have to prove anything to anyone. So this liberty, this freedom, I haven't thought about it before, but it, it feels really good. So I can also take risks uh, with people. I, I had a really bad year in 2018 there's sometimes in your life you can, you can see that, you know, shit is being flung at you from all corners and you say, really? And then something else adds to this pile of shit and you just sink away. Yeah. You're living in a house and the ceiling comes down and the walls come down and you end up in like a cesspool of shit and then even that collapses and you end up in hell and you burn. Mm -hmm. um, and hell is always personal, you know? You're always fighting your own demons and you have to burn for so long. And uh, 
Uh, I, I burned really hard for like at least a year and a year and a half. And then there's other people who try and nudge you. you out because I wanted to stay there, mm -hmm. to be honest. I wanted to stay there. I thought, yeah, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Um, I just want the pain to end and I'm a useless human being and the world would be a lot better off if I were simply not there anymore. And, uh, and then I somehow, it, looked, it took me two full years to claw my way back out. Mm -hmm. And it made me even more fearless, being close to death by my own willing four times, mm -hmm. uh, but, but being dragged back against, you know, I was kicking and screaming, but I was being dragged back by, I'm not proud of it, I mean, that's one thing I would like to change one time by my girl and then one time by my son. Uh, and then the other two times by uh, first responders Wow, I mean, these people literally have to scoop up people uh, from from the street in a in, in a puddle of whatever body fluids. I mean, this is a uh, you know highly underestimated what these people do. Um, but now that I'm I've been so close, I'm even more fearless because I'm out of fucks to give. You know, yeah. I, my ego is gone. My ego is completely gone. If someone annoys me, I'll just walk away. I don't care. Do you need help making better decisions in your life? Are you lacking self-confidence and motivation to get things done? Hire me today and get a direct daily line of communication with me through video chat and audio messages. I operate on a week-to-week -week basis, so no long-term investment is required. Seven straight days of Viking advice will get you right on track. Email me at lorenz.dries at gmail.com and change your reality. I'm ready whenever you are. See you soon.